Hey guys, I just had a conversation with one of my clients and we were talking about, she booked um, healing work with me, right? And we were talking about, I just had a feeling, um, she's been doing a lot of workings and I had a feeling um, that it's time for her to do her spiritual work and like heal a lot of necessary traumas. And when I say necessary, I mean to say necessary because it's traumas that we allow to continue on and because we're not dealing with them. And you think you're dealing with it, but the heavy is you really don't be dealing with it. So within the conversation with her today, I gave her a little guidance like I always do when she reaches out to me. Um, she was talking about something, you know, and I had a just a, a strong feeling that it was time for her to do her healing work okay this is a part of hoodoo um or the occult that you must travel down this road in order to um gain knowledge in order to find your path in order to have a complete understanding of your life you have to deal with these shadow things these generational traumas and we have to heal from all that hurt and pain that we've been through in this life that led us here, right? So, got it. Now, I knew something was going on with her, but I never knew what it really was, but I knew that it was some healing that needed to happen for her. Um, so, I mentioned it to her, it's about that time, and then she she was telling me about, um, she had got a reading from someone, and they were telling her that her spirit guides were the angels. Now, if you know about the four archangels, you would know about um, Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, and um, Raphael. They say that each of these archangels um, access the different directions at the ends of the earth, the north side, east, west, and south. And these will be a lot of people, um, if you focus and res resonate with your spirit team, angels come very, very heavy in saints. So I love that. And she was inquiring, if you kind of like doing ritual work with me and you tell me um, I had a dream about a deity or a saint or a particular angel, this is what I'm going to incorporate in your work. Now, the last time I did work is with this particular client, we incorporated Yemaye, okay, um, for her divine feminine work. This baby has been working on herself, and I am so proud of her. Not working on a relationship, not working on um, people ships, situation ships. She has been really focused since working with me with herself, where she wants to be in life, and she is one of my young babies. And I was telling her, too, I was telling her, I wish that someone would have told me when I was in my 20s, would have guided me like how I got my young feminine, um, my feminine baddies, my young baddies, the feminine baddies. And I wish hard and heavy a lot of the times that I wish I would have knew what I knew now. And I wish that someone would have guided me when I was in my 20s. Because I knew these things, but I wasn't guided. You know what I'm saying? I knew, you know, you know not to do things right or wrong. You always try to do, I always try to do the right thing by people, even coming up. But it's the guided part that I did not get. And I did not know, which caused me to uh, choose the wrong things. It caused me to make the wrong turns, make the wrong decisions, go down the wrong path. Because I followed my heart more than my head when I was coming up. And I wish somebody told me the things that I tell my feminine baddies that are young, very into, um, influential, that you're just trying to make it. Don't make the same mistakes, Lady V did. Don't stay too long with something that don't serve you, no purpose, that type of shit. If it upsets your peace, your mood, your balance, you walk away. 
Don't waste your time on crumbs. I wish somebody would have told me that. But I was coming through y'all and it just reson resonated with me so much that this is where I am in my walk where a lot of people are God people. And this is the, 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 the work that I was given. Deep alignment, y'all, is working with spiritual things. You got to be aligned in order to get your what you want and what you desire. It has to be aligned with your workings, aligned with your day-to-day, -day, aligned with your everything. You know what I'm saying? Everything on this world, earth has to be aligned. And I'm a country girl. I be trying to make sense out of sense. I don't think I said that. Yeah, I did. I be trying to make sense out of sense, bitch. And I'm a Libra too. So y'all know Libra, Libras overthink things. And when y'all be telling me I'm an overthinker, baby, I am 10 times worse than you. One, I'm an empath. And two, I'm a Libra. And you got to Think about it, but don't overthink it. Think about it. Mark the spot. X marks the spot. This is what we're going to do and let it go. That's what I do now. But if somebody told me what I know now, what I should have known 20 something years ago, baby, I'd be hell on motherfucking wheels. And I'd be wanting my little, my, my feminine baddies to be hell on wheels. Don't wait till you old, back hurting, bitch. Stomach, Hank, baby, let's not go there. But I love it, especially when my babies set the record straight on their path, set the record straight. They fixing their, 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 uh, their selves, their feminine, nanity, they fixing all of that. Hmm. I love it. I love it when 20-somethings come into my Ori and let me guide them. I love that. Because I wish somebody would have told me what I know. I'm a mom at heart, y'all. Mama source always. All right, just rambling. All right, want to share? Bye, y'all.